Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back, Gigi here. Thank you so much for joining me for another reading. Thank you to all those have, that have been here for any duration of time. Thank you so much for your support and love to the channel. To all of you new guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. I hope you guys are well. Thank you to all of you that are watching this video for your love and support. <clears throat> now, the last two days, Spirit has been kind of giving me this vision. It's been on repeat a couple of times, but we haven't talked about it yet because he's saying it needed to wait until right now. <clears throat> okay, there I'm being shown a masculine, and I've been seeing the same vision tw like for two, like almost a full 24 hours. Okay, <clears throat> I see this person. He was he's sitting there thinking of you. Okay, collective, whomever you may be. Thinking, and it feels like the ceiling, what it looks like is the ceiling is like closing, like coming down on him. It's like this, it, and he, he's going from a sitting position to basically on their, on his back with the ceiling, like literally on his nose, like smoosh between the ceiling and the floor, like a pancake. Okay. He's breathing heavy. It feels like he's being suffocated by his emotions. Okay. It spirits way of trying to force this person's mind open about spiritual journeys, spiritual practices, spiritual paths, spiritual abilities, all of that. This person may have very closed minded traditional th ways of thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it's like it's spirits way of saying, look. There's not one right way to do this. That's why there's so many different religions, beliefs, and all of that. Because there's no one right way to do this. Every person's relationship and practices with God is individual and unique for a reason. Yes, people have similar ideas. That's where religion comes in. One communal idea, thought, and practice. People take it and do what they do with it, right? It is not the same for everybody even if there's two people there could be two catholics in the same room and they're two different opinions okay this person it feels like they are literally being forced into facing the fact that there are different ways of believing and thinking and the second this person actually lets it click and that light bulb moment actually happens they will no longer feel like they're being suffocated by their emotions and feelings for you Okay, they are literally being suffocated by their own thoughts, their own feelings, all of it. Literally, it's like they're being smushed between a ceiling and a floor. And it's like, like they're like literally any further and they're going to be smushed into a nothing. Okay, this person <clears throat> is very much lost for words and they're feeling like they're suffocating. Okay, so... With that being said, because I, I literally just got done doing homework and I'm like, okay, let's do a reading. Spirit's like, we're going to do one for the YouTube. Don't hesitate. Get your butt to going. We got three decks on the table. We're going to get jumping right into it. Holy Spirit, please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me through this energy reading for our collective. Holy Spirit, please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective, and please cast all evil and darkness away and back to where it comes from tenfold. Please and thank you. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much for being here. It is really a blessing to have you and know you. All right. All right. So we have the blessed angels, we have the tarot, and we have soul's journey. I am going to start with this one. All right, Holy Spirit, let's talk about this. What's going on for this individual? Who are, what are we, what are we looking at here? Spirit, talk to us, Spirit. Tell us what we need to know about this situation, please. And thank you. There may be an ancestor that may have something to say about this. Feeling... Like this person's shallow minded ways is due to traditions that have been passed on through their generations, through the generations of their family. It needs to stop now. The curse needs to be broken and things need to be, this person's mind needs to be open so that any further gener, any future generations in this person's family line are not corrupted by 
ignorance. We're just going to say it like that. Okay. Spirit wants to put a stop to it right now. No time to waste, I'm being told. Okay. Okay. All right, spirit. Sexuality in nature on the bottom and knowledge. Oh boy. Oh no. Are, is this person facing maybe one of their children's sexual identity? Is somebody is somebody's child facing a sexual identity crisis? Are they coming out as possibly part of the LGBTQ plus society? And they're like, no, you can fight this. This isn't who you are. This is not how we raised you. This is not what we're accepting of this family. In this family, this, that, and the next thing. The thing is, is I'm going to talk to you about it on a scientific level, okay? As, as someone studying to be a psychologist, of course, I have to go through um, human sexuality and all of these other things to learn about the concepts of behind why people are the way they are. This is just part of what I'm learning uh, to go forward with my career choice, okay? You have to understand that it's not just a choice. People are born this way, and a lot of the times it's because of their what their chromosomes are like, Okay. There's culture, like, we'll talk about the Native American culture, okay? I learned something very, very specific last semester, and it hit me so hard because it's so beautiful, okay? We learned about, I mean, there's definitely other tribes out there that believe this, but I'm going to speak specifically on the Navajo tribe. They believe in a person having, their people can have two souls, and they are open and free about it. They allow people to live as they live, like I was saying before, there are different cultures, different religions, different ways of thinking because everybody is different. Their relationship with God is different. This is why I go to the church I go to because as a whole in our community, we believe God loves all and all means all. Whether you're a practicing, a practitioner like me that is a spiritualist who communicates with spirit and, and passed on loved ones and people and, and different energies in different realms, I believe truly in my heart that God put us here to love one another and to accept one another. And the only judgment that matters is his. Now, if this person, whoever this, this person is that may be coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community, if they're loving people and they're harmonious and they're doing right and they're not living with evil in their heart, leave the person alone to do as they see fit. Believe what you want to believe. There is no judgment here, but I'll say this on my own behalf. Leave the person alone and let them do what they do. If they're not hurting nobody, believe you me, their, their soul will not go to hell. They will Their, their soul will sit and possibly in, in purgatory watching others live and getting to, to sit in, 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 in what I like to call purgatory with regret and resentment in their heart because they may very well repress their the way they are to appease somebody else. What we need to do for these people is let them in on the knowledge of what it is to, to help people open their mind and get away from any ignorant thoughts. This per whoever, whatever I'm picking up on, I'll tell you this right now. This person is not doing this to harm anybody. This person may be coming out just to release a burden off their shoulders and let the people that they may very well love and trust and respect in on who they are. And if anybody dares slams a Bible in this person's face, they're going to have to face spirit about all of this. And their soul will not go where they assume their soul is going to go. Especially if they try to repress somebody from being who they are. Let the person be who they want to be. Don't, don't, whoever this is, okay? Whoever this is, please. Let people be who they are. If your old outdated ways of thinking cause whoever this person is to shun a possible child of theirs, whatever way that they are shunning them, whether it's through sexuality, belief systems, religion, whatever it is, if they shun them and they disown them and they belittle them and they crucify them verbally, emotionally, or even physically for who they are to the core of who they are by nature. Oh, oh, spirit, spirit's going to come unglued on that person at their final judgment. Oh, Lord, I would not want to be in that person's shoes when they got to face most high. No, sir. No, ma'am. I don't even want to be a fly on the wall that day. Okay. That's how serious this is. Spirit, 
I'm going to say it. Is it okay, Spirit, if I say it like this? He's telling me on the nose big time. If you assume that you're doing this out of for because of what a Bible says, because of what old outdated ways of thinking say, and you ain't listening to what this person, whoever this person that may be coming out to you, mm, if you're not listening and if you're not do, coming at them with an open heart and an open mind, oh, oh, the oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of that. We need to come together as as a whole, as people of God, to help open people's minds about things that are controversial, things that are out of the norm, that things that make people uncomfortable. We need to unite. We need to come together and help whoever this is or whomever in the future. Now, people in the past, we need to unite and help these people so they don't ever feel like they are alone in this world. Why do you think so many people have depression, anxiety, and committing suicide left and right? Come on. This is, this is unacceptable unacceptable. So if this is somebody's person coming towards them, or if this is somebody doing this to you collective, Gigi loves you. Gigi accepts you. Gigi is here for you. And I will always be here for you as a person of God and somebody that loves everyone unconditionally and equally. Okay. Whoever this is with that ignorant mindset needs to surrender that crap before they seriously damage a relationship with whomever this may be. And I'm hoping to God, I'm hoping to God that it, they can before it's too late, before they ruin their relationship with what could potentially be their child. Who can potentially be their child, excuse me. Never, I could never, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speaking on personal beliefs here and please take it how it is for you to believe what it is that makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. But I will say this. I could never love my son any less. If that little boy comes to me when he's older and says, Mama, I like X, Y, and Z. I'm part of this community. This is where my heart really lays. This is what I feel is right for me. As long as he ain't hurting nobody, he ain't committing no, no murder, no like theft, no nothing, like no like nasty, nasty. Of course I will be supportive. I'm just a forward thinking kind of person as a bi as a bisexual woman, as someone that basically is a contro a walking controversy in, in itself. Me, you know, I'm a walking controversy. I'm constantly, I'm walking with a disclaimer of, you know, I am who I am, accept me for who I am or don't and please move on. You know, like I, that's who I am. And I really, truly wish there were more people like that out there. And, I'm, you know, things have progressively gotten better over the generations, but we are still nowhere like out of 100, we're like at 15 percent. We should be further up that line towards 100 percent unity with all people in, the, in, in our society, in this world, just in general. But you know what? I'm hoping that'll happen by the time I die. I just don't think so. We can just continue to try to unite, continue to surrender any ill will, any, you know, ignorant mindsets, and we can continue to strive to be the best versions of ourselves, but people like this, and no wonder why this person feels so, like, stuck between a, a rock and a hard place, being smushed by their own feelings and emotions, because it's not right. They may know it's not right in their heart, like, they may know, but what they were conditioned to believe, not acceptable. No longer accept. That's why they're like, they're fighting themselves here. They're fighting themselves big time. What this person needs to do is educate themselves. Go talk to somebody that's, that's clinically uh, able to, to, to help with this. Go see a therapist. Don't, don't let judgment, if, if, um, like material world judgment, the judgment of the people here in the physical stop you from getting help, whoever this is. Because whatever is going on in that head of yours that's causing you to feel like that you need to that you're being compressed whoever this is not saying you collective i'm just talking in a general fashion here that crap needs to be surrendered quick quickly quick fast and in a hurry quick fast and in a hurry if you if any if this person wants grace by god they need to have grace in their heart for whomever may be coming out and, and talking about being different whether it's through their sexuality or whatever controversial way that they, that they, that they sit in, that they live with, whatever controversy that is part of their life that may make whoever this is to them. And I'm seeing a man. So this may be somebody's father figure, some kind of like main male figure in their life. Oh, God, Yeah. If that, whoever this masculine is, 
wants the grace of God. They need to be have, they need to show grace, loving and understanding and allow themselves to be educated in the ways of whatever this is. Okay. Because if they don't, God be with them. They're going to be awakened. Like I said, spirit is putting them in this situation to force them to open their mind. 15, 15 on the timer. Okay. Forced awakening. Because if they don't wake up and they don't realize, oh boy, oh boy, God help them. God help them. I don't, like I said, I don't want to be there that day and I don't want to be a fly on the wall. I want to be as ignorant to this situation as possible because I tell you what, I am not the, I am not the one. I am not the one to, to stand by and let that, that BS fly at all. Ever. I don't care if I know you like for real, for real, or I'm walking down the street and I see something. You best believe that this one over here has a mouth and I'm not afraid to use it, especially because I'm educated. And I'm continuing to educate myself to get away from any ignorance that may surround me at all. I refuse to be ignorant. And I really wish more people were like this, especially whatever energy this is that I'm picking up on. This person should be grateful. Whomever, the, whoever their child is or whoever it is that's coming out to them about whatever the controversy is, they should be grateful that they're actually giving them the benefit of the doubt instead of hiding it. And then, yeah, instead of hiding it or lying or whatever because the thing is is if this if this masculine wants anything to do with their child or whoever it is that's coming out to them they want anything to do with this person at all or any future generations that may come from them they need to get their head right before the spirit crushes them like a doodle bug anything else from here spirit please and thank you Anything else? Just let me go all the way through it. Thank you. Miracles are possible. Anything is possible with spirit in your hand. Or in holding hands with spirit. Excuse me. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This may be the... This talks about, you know, passion. Just passion in general. Okay? If whoever is coming out and, and talk, you know, ex coming out about whatever their controversy is, I say sexuality because that's the first card that came out. Miss Venus here, the birth of Venus right here. This person may be coming out and re basically coming out as their way of being reborn. Allowing the passion that they f that they have within themselves about whatever it is whether it's their sexuality or whatever it is, their, their spirituality, whatever it is, they have a lot of passion about it. And they're very, they're very set in where they, in what they're doing. There is no changing this. It's like embedded in this person to their core. They were born this way for a reason. Okay. Born this way for a reason. And it, there's a lot of blessings that come to with this, with whatever it is. A blessing of maybe helping whoever this masculine is open their mind and getting to actually have a healthy relationship with them. That's a huge, that could be a very big blessing, especially if the two people, you know, this father and possible child <clears throat> may have had a rough life together. Like their relationship may be on the rocks, maybe skate and thin ice, or there may not be a relationship at all because of there's been significant differences in personalities from the jump. So that could very well be the blessing is that, you know, whoever this person is that's coming out could really want their dad or whoever this masculine is to them to really truly be a part of their life and to love them and appreciate them and accept them for who they are. That could be part of the major blessing that's coming towards them. And they really, really, truly want this person in their life because if they didn't, why would they be coming out? Why would they be coming out? but to let people that they know and trust know who they truly are to stop wearing a freaking mask, to not have to hide behind lies and deception just to appease a family tradition. That's way out of date. Come on, come on. I, I'm sorry. I just, I can't, I can't even with this. Do me a favor. If you know who this masculine is, please send them, look up, <clears throat> um, Two Souls Navajo Tribe Beliefs and send them the link and let them watch it. There's there's documentaries on it. There's all sorts of things. I cannot remember specifically what the video was that we watched in school, but you can look it up. Please do that. If this is about sexuality, what or whatever, please 
do the research and help this person educate them, give them the knowledge they need to make logical decisions instead of doing things out irrationally. I hope this, whoever this masculine is, I hope they don't act out irrationally and come unglued and say and do things that they'll regret because I'm going to tell you what, there is no place in hell, or there, there is a lot of places in hell, but there's no place in heaven for this person to ascend with that kind of mindset. 2020 on the timer. Yeah. Good Lord. Jesus. Spirit. This was not what I was expecting this one to be. This was not what I was expecting this one to be at all. Sorry about that. I just had to write down the title. All right, spirit. What else? Maybe this person's you, collective. You're the one that with the controversy, the controversial uh, way of being. And if this is you, my dear, listen to me. You are here on my channel, here where I am, wherever Gigi is. And I only have one YouTube and I've only got one TikTok. I got an Instagram, but I don't do nothing with it. You will only find me here and on my TikTok. That's it. If anybody's, I don't reach out to nobody. You want something from me, you can, you can email me or you can leave me a comment, okay? Please do not, just know, here is a space, with me, you are always in a safe space. If you are ever disowned by whomever this may be, I am your family now. Hit me up in the email. You can always find me at Intuitive Readings with Gigi. I will always be your friend and I will always be there to help you through this and I, will, I can be there to be your friend. You don't ever have to worry about feeling alone. You're not alone here. Okay? You are not alone. And I love you unconditionally. Remember that. And that goes for everybody. If you walk with the light and your heart is pure and you're doing the work and you're putting in the effort and you're being a good person, you have my, you have my love. Okay? And I get, I'm, I, I'm told that I give the best mama hugs. Just saying. So if you ever, if you ever need me, email me. Okay, please. I'm here for you, friend. What else, spirit? Wasting time, delays, lack of ambition. Okay, it says the word disappointment here tells me a lot about what could be, feel, what whoever this person is. Okay, that's wants to come out to this masculine. Okay. If you're waiting for the right time, there is no right time. If you are feeling like you're going to be a disappointment to this person and that's, what's keeping you there. Don't delay this. The longer you delay this, the, lo the less time you're going to have to help this person educate themselves. Okay. It's scary. I get it. I get it. Like I said, as a walking controversy, I get it, okay? Fortunately, my, my mother, who I, my parent that raised me, and my grandfather were very open-minded people. Even though we were, my mother, you know, her, my, my, great, my grandmother on my mom's side was Jewish. My grandfather was Catholic. You know, I, I've got two very, very um, different cultures in my family, the Catholic was the predominant one, but by blood, I'm Jewish, if that makes sense. Okay, both. I'm by, by blood, I'm both. Okay. I, I'm fortunate enough that I was raised as I was a minority in the area I grew up as a, one of the very few white people in, in Canarsie, where I'm from in Brooklyn. I understand, you know, what it's like to be an outcast as a bisexual woman. I get it. As a spiritualist with the psychic medium capabilities, I get it. Hiding yourself 
only de delays your joy and your happiness, my friend. You are destined for beautiful things. You are destined to use all of the trials and tribulations that you have been through to help the world going forward. You may very well be the key to unlocking the to unlocking the doors that help pe that that people can walk through to release this ignorance. You may be the key. So repressing yourself and prolonging the inevitable is only delaying your joy and what you will bring to the table for society going forward. So please do not deprive yourself of releasing this burden to someone that is meant to love you. If they disown you, they're the ones that are going to have to face spirit about it, not you. Do it correctly, do it with respect, and do it politely, and you're going to be all right. They're, you know, they, they are your, if this is your father or a father-like figure... Yes, they are your parent, and yes, it says to, that we should respect our parents... The thing is, is I'm a firm believer of respect. If you want respect, you better give it to me. And that should be the same way that you think. Please do as you see fit for your life. But like I said, if you want respect, you better give respect. And that goes, I say that to my mother too. And I love my mother. We've had a rough life together. We had a rough relationship. This has been the best two years of my life with her. Yet I still tell her, you want respect from me? You better respect me in return. What goes around comes around. And if you're going to be rude to me, I'm going to show you, what you what's good. Don't mess around and find out. Uh, you got to have boundaries with these people. Because if you don't got boundaries, they're going to walk all over you and try to mold you into what they want instead of what you truly are. Okay? But we got miracles out here, right here. All right? And surrender. And awakening. Okay? Before, oh, Here's what I'd like to suggest to whomever this may be for. Before you go to this person... Find yourself a community or go to your community where you feel safe. Talk to them and ask them what they, how they did it. How did they bring this up to their family? Get tips and tricks. And if you need this person to be there as your support group, while you do it, fine. I would highly suggest doing it in a neutral location where not at somebody's house. I wouldn't go to the house. I'd go have coffee. I'd go sit in a park or something. This person doesn't even need to be sitting there next to you. They can be at a table or two down. They don't even, whoever this masculine is, doesn't even need to know this person's with you. But just so you know that you are, you have somebody there that you feel safe with, that would be my best suggestion. Talk to somebody before you do this. But I would highly suggest making the effort um, to, to start planning out getting this done before it's too late. Because the longer you wait, like I said, the less, the less time you're going to have to help this person educate themselves. And the less time you're going to have with your joy. You may be very tired and stressed about all of this, but you are very close to having the successful outcome that you want. Whether it's to release this situation, get it off your chest, release this situation, see this masculine for whoever they are, and see their true colors, and you're gonna and, and you get to see them, you get to persevere, you get to move on. Or that you can actually get a miracle. A miracle could actually happen. And this person could understand and want to be a part of your life. Okay. It says backbone here. This, I don't want to come across as being rude. So I'm not going to say, you know, just go get, don't grow a spine. No, this is a very, very strange, like not strange, but it can feel very strange to you having to, you know, face a major fear. This could very well be a very big fear, especially if you, whoever this person is, whoever, you know, that's coming out. If you know this person's a very conservative, simple, like single-minded person that doesn't have an open mind to save their life, you could be very scared and it could be taking your courage right away from you. But spirit needs you to have the strength and courage that you know you have inside that fire inside of you. Allow it to show you, give you strength and courage to do what you need to do. Okay. If this person lacks enthusiasm, if they're, they're telling you how sad it is and how disappointed, look, don't let the guilt trip get you. Okay. The, the freaking passive aggressive guilt trip. Don't let it happen. Walk away. Tell them what you got to tell them. If they start the crap, tell them, look, whoever you are, sir, I'm not going to tolerate passive aggressive anything. I'm not going to allow a guilt trip to sit here and try to take me away from my, from who I am. Okay. 
walk away after that. Don't let this person harp on you. That's why I'm saying don't go to this person's house. Go to a neutral location. So when you get up and walk out, that's it. You don't got to deal with any other family or friends that are there with them. You don't have to deal with their judgment or their gazes. All you got to do is get up, walk out. Your person will get up, walk out. You guys go to the car and you leave. That's it. If there's any yelling and a hoo and a ha and a freaking out, that person's there and they may very well have the 911 on speed dial. Ready to call them in if anything gets out of hand. You understand? That's why I'm saying have a backup. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. I'm seeing here disharmony. We got the two of cups in the reverse. There's definitely, you can feel like there's going to be disharmony. You can feel like there's a disconnect between you two, especially if you don't have the greatest relationship with this person. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Yep, we have the Seven of Swords, confessing, coming clean, turning over a new leaf. Yep, this you coming confessing about all of this and coming clean about who you are may very well put this person into a position to where they can turn over a new leaf and, and learn. Miracles can happen. We have the, the lovers here, major choices. This person can't, they shouldn't be judging you for who you love. Mm-mm. And if this, and who, if whoever this masculine is, if the, a miracle does happen and they are willing to turn over a new leaf and be, you know, open to this, if you choose to bring your partner or whoever it is that you, maybe it's time to introduce them. But if not, this person's, person's going to be facing a hopeless life after that. Because I'll tell you what, if this per I'm being shown the tower card. If this person does what you think they may be doing or may consider doing to you after you come, you know, open up and, and be vulnerable and you talk about all this with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to have some major hits in their life. I mean, harsh, harsh towers. So harsh that. It may come down. I don't like it. No, I'm not going to say that spirit. Is that okay? All right. It may be so harsh that it literally caught like this person's going to be short of breath with what happens. Like the second, like it's going to be, it may be one major tower that may hit this person so damn hard. This person can't breathe. Like I said, this person's being smushed between a rock and a hard place. The emperor in reverse. This person may very well be the authoritative figure in your family. Okay? The man of the family. All right? This person may very... With, with you, I'm being told, is this this person? Okay. Spirit is telling me, with you in specific, whoever this... You collective or whoever this is, okay? They may abuse their masculine power in the family when it comes to you. I'm the father. You're going to do what I tell you. If you don't do it, it's because of the fact that you guys are polar opposite. Whoever the, whoever the child is, whoever the masculine is, whoever, whoever it is, please. Okay. They may be very, very harsh with you because you're not one, you're not one to bend and, and give. They know there's something different about you big time. They've known it your whole life. You might've been butting heads all of it. They're very rigid towards you and the absentee father. Yeah. Paternity issues. This may be your father or the father of whoever this child is. Okay. They, they are, they are so strict with you. It's not even funny. They wanted to beat the difference out of you. They wanted to beat you into submission Verbally, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Slapping you in the face with the Bible. Possibly like, I don't know, if you were baptized, maybe holding you under the water a little too long. Or much longer than you should have to try to bless it out of you, if you get what I'm saying. Like, they know there's something different about you. Or whomever this ch their child is. The absentee father, that pisses me off so bad. 
but it's everything I've been feeling. Thank you, spirit. It's time for you to start a new journey. It's time for you to free yourself from this. It's time for you to finally be whoever, who you are, whoever you are. Okay. You don't have, you are tired of this fight. You are tired of having to hide all of the, hide who you are. It's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out and it's time for you to be who you are because now we have the Empress in reverse. If you have insecurities, if you are lacking confidence, if you are in disharmony in your life, it's because of this. You are meant, oops, you are meant to be the Empress. And if whoever this, this absentee father figure, this, this person over here, this emperor in reverse, if they're the reason you're in this, in the, uh, the Empress in reverse here. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's time for you to finally have something for yourself, something new. Okay. To commitment, dedication. Yeah. It's time for you to finally have people that are committed to you, that want to see, that are dedicated to you, that are there for your best good, that have your best interest in heart, at heart, all of it. They're the ones that are going to help you come out of whatever this is in reverse, the Empress in reverse, if that's you, okay? You don't have to isolate yourself because of them. You have every, you have every means to escape and have the freedom you deserve if you follow through with this and find the inner strength and confidence to do what you need to do, okay? All of this is leading to transformation, new beginnings, letting go, having endings where they need to be had, and being able to change where you need to change, okay? You are definitely... Fear of moving on. You may, yeah, fear of moving on. Well, this, you may be a daddy's, a, a daddy's, you may in your heart want your, you know, daddy's boy or daddy's girl or whatever. You may just want your daddy in your life. You may want to, may fear moving away from the fact that, you know, you're releasing your dad to spirit and letting spirit deal, deal with him. That's, it's okay. Spirit can be, we call it, spirit is, you know, the Holy Father. You know, as somebody that was raised by my mom and my grandfather, my dad was, in my case, I had an absent father. <clears throat> and, you know, at, I came to the point where, you know, they're, they're, I just release it to spirit. Spirit's my dad now. My granddad who, who raised me passed on five years ago and it hit me really hard. And because of spirit, I don't feel so alone in that sector of my life anymore. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot of hope and it takes a lot of time. Spirit can be your dad now. Or like I said, you may be able to find a community of people that fulfill all of those things that you needed from this, this absentee masculine figure, this emperor in reverse people in your, 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 your chosen family, you can find people that fulfill those roles for you with that love you unconditionally more than this emperor in reverse ever could have. And that's okay too, because we can have karmic parents. We can have karmic family. They're, they were put in our lives to teach us the things that we needed to learn to have the strength and courage to get through these, these trials and tribulations. That's why people like us make such huge impacts on the world is because we've been through it and we know what to do, how to handle it. And we can pass that knowledge on to others. And that's why you're here collective, whoever this is, whether it's your child, whether you're the masculine or whether you're the child or a friend or whoever you were put here, they were put here to make a change. Earth angels, star seeds. We don't got it easy. Spiritual beings like us, we don't have it easy. We go through these trials and tribulations to get us to where we need to be ment mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically to make the changes. We are the change makers. Spirit saying, this is all the truth. 
childhood memories, past influences. Yeah, you may have, there may be some nostalgic memories that you may have with this, this person, this masculine, that may keep you from wanting to, to, to hear the words, I'm disappointed in you. This is not what we do. I, you're not allowed to do this. I refuse to allow you to do this. You will not do this on my wall. If you, if you're holding on to that nostalgia in your heart, in, in allowing it to keep you stagnant and stuck where you're at, please don't be fickle in this situation. Don't sacrifice your happiness unnecessarily for this person when there could be a possibility of a miracle and this person being open and showing you grace. Okay. Especially if they're a Bible, if they're one to, to throw the Bible in your face, if they believe that strongly in God, they should know that God loves all and he created us the way we did for a reason. And if they, if this person chooses not to, that's on them. Okay. And if they try to come after you and try to, don't, don't let the person beat a dead horse. And that dead, the, the, the dead horse is the situ the topic. Okay. You are who you are and there's nothing that's going to change that period. End of story. Okay. If this person wants to mold you or, or create a specific being, tell them to get some clay tell him to figure out some, you know, human biology and create his own damn picture perfect person because we're all here, you know, living different lives for a reason. We're not all the same for a reason. Okay. All right. Follow your heart. Knight of cups, follow your heart. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Sexual adventures. <laughs> if you want the sexual, if you are, if you are coming out of the closet about whatever it is and you want them sexual adventures, don't let this hold you up. Go have your fun. Please find your joy. Don't let this crap stop you from finding your joy and getting to where you need to be to go make the change, man. Please. Let's do soul journey and then close it out because I got to go get the tiny one. I see. I cut it right open on love. Okay. Right open on love. Let's keep that. Hi, mommy. Kitty Marie. Hi, mommy. Hi, sweet girl. Sorry, my cat's here to visit. Give me a second. Belly Marie. All right. Let me finish what I'm doing. I got to go get the boy. Okay. I see on the bottom, death. Lay this mess to rest so you can have a new beginning. Whether with or without this person. Let love lead you. If you need to release this, this person, release them with love. Okay. We're looking at the glass half full here, folks. Okay. Not half empty. Let's have a positive mindset about this so you can free yourself. For, ow! Stop that with the claws and the scritching, huh? Just got clawed. <laughs> she wants up <laughs> on the bottom. Happiness. Freeing yourself from this, putting this crap to rest, allowing love to just lead you will bring you happiness. It sure will. It'll bring you peace of mind. You may be able to sleep better at night. Knowing that it's out there for the world to, to know. It'll also help your self-esteem. It'll help you with your abundance. Because like I said, this is all leading you to having a happy and abundant life. By helping others, using your testimony, growing and learning yourself is going to bring you... I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I want. I, in, I, whatever I desire in this physical reality. It starts with you stopping this stuck and stagnant mindset that you're in because you're afraid of, I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping that you're afraid of judgment by this person. The only one's judgment you need to worry about is God and yourself. This person is only here in the physical and we're only here for a short amount of time. It does not matter anymore. Your happiness is the only thing that matters now. What you see when you look in the mirror is all that matters now. It should have always been that way, but it's not always the, that's not always the case. And that's okay. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Find that pride in yourself for love, to love yourself. Be proud of who you are and love yourself before you regret it. Before you wait until this person is about to kick the can to tell them what and who you are. And then you waited your whole damn, wasted all that time when you could have been happy. So don't live in regret because you refuse to, to whoever this is refuses to, 
to face the fact that this person needs to know who their, their child is. This person needs to know who their child is. So things can come into balance. Thank you, spirit. You are, you, you, you are, you the man, spirit. You the man, spirit, yes. Come through. Thank you. Perseverance and gratitude. We have it out here twice. We got gratitude out here, and I was talking about perseverance earlier. So it's just more confirmation. On the bottom of the deck... Your purpose is exactly what I've been telling you, that all your trials and tribulations, all of your life lessons that you have learned and how to handle is what you are going to be sharing with others on how to handle what they have been, what they're going through. Okay. Okay. Don't live in grief and regret by waiting and holding out. It's just not worth it. This person will get what they need to get. They will be educated one way or another, whether it's by spirit crushing them like a doodle bug and teaching them a lesson, because when the Holy Spirit rained down upon thee, the Holy Spirit's going to rain down upon thee. You understand? And spirit ain't playing when it comes to his divine beings, especially those that are living in their truth and they're not afraid to talk about it. Okay. Don't fear the unknown. Have faith. Keep a positive mindset. Ask and pray. Meditate and pray on this. Ask spirit on how to handle this. Prepare yourself. Make a plan, and when it's time, execute it. You'll know. Spirit will guide you. Okay, anything else? No. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides for helping me through this reading. I close this reading. Oof, guys. It goes from one toxicity to another. Stubborn twin soul, twin flame situations, and then we got... Stubborn, pig-headed parents, man. Ignorant parents. Oh, God. It just, one thing after another. I don't know. I don't know, Collective. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're going through this. I'm sorry that you're going to have to face this. I'm sorry that this is, this is what it's got to be. And, it, you know, it really, really sucks. And again, as somebody that is a walking controversy, I get it to an extent. I'm not living your life. I'm not you. So I don't know exactly what you're going through. I've never had to worry about having to come out about my sexuality. You know, my mom, like it was, it was easy because like I said, my mom is an open-minded person. So was my grandfather. And you know what? Honestly, my mom, I think she may have even said this to me. She wishes that I was, you know, she, when I was younger, she thought I was, she was wishing I was gay because then she didn't have to worry about me getting pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Well, she also threatened me with my life that if I made her a grandmother before she was 50, she'd actually kill me. And believe me, I, I believed her, <laughs> but you know, that is how it is. And it's okay. It's going to be okay. And like I said, Gigi's here for you. I may not know you from a, you know, a hole in the wall, but I'm picking up on your energy. And I can feel what you feel to a, to a degree, okay? I will never truly understand it because I'm not in your physical shoes. I'm here for you anyway. And I love you unconditionally. Keep that in mind always. Peace and blessings until next time. Bye for now.